time we're going to deduce uh, a sequence using uh, negation elimination, right? And so this one might look a little funny when you first go about it, but what essentially we're trying to do here is to uh, arrive at a contradiction and then we'll use um, you know, proof by contradiction in a constructive way to sort of prove all, almost anything that we need to prove in the end. And so uh, I'm going to load up the example that uh, Professor Ellis used inside of the Lightboard lecture here. Uh, I'll create a new one. So it's a sequence that starts with P implies R, then P and not Q, and then not R. The set of premises, and we want to be able to deduce Q. Now, inherently, there should be something wrong with this, right? If we see P and not Q, then we know P must hold. And if P implies R, then we know R must hold. But we also said that R doesn't hold. So this is a sort of a contradiction. And if you have a contradiction, technically, you could uh, deduce anything, right? Once you're able to deduce bottom, you can deduce anything you want. And so how do we go about doing this formally? Well, the first step is to try and pull out P. Right? In a forward step, we use conjunction elimination, preserving the left. And now we can use our implication elimination uh, to get us at the R. Right? So here, implication elimination allows us to deduce R. And there's two different options now to uh, sort of produce the, uh, the contradiction that we have. Before we do that, we do need to deduce bottom. And so from the premise not R and from the uh, step here where we've deduced R, we can do a forward negation elimination. And it feels kind of like a misname, right? You don't have any R anymore when you're doing this elimination, but essentially you're trying to get rid of the negation off of here. And the way to do that is to combine it with uh, you know, the negated uh, proposition or the negated formula itself. And so as soon as you have any formula and its negation, negation elimination allows you to deduce bottom. This is the trick that we're using, right? Now, once we have bottom, there's two different ways we could go about doing this. Um, in a forward direction, we could say that, um, uh, where is it? We've produced a contradiction and it's constructive, right? So it can mean anything that we want. Do we deduce bottom? So we can deduce, deduce Q and our proof is complete. Uh, but alternatively, we could say in a backwards direction, uh, you know, from Q, we want to do a proof by contradiction. And again, it's constructive. And so it's going to look backwards and try to find any sort of um, bottom symbol that is within the scope that it is allowed to use. And so this is a equally valid way to sort of do this inside of JAPE. And this gives you the complete proof here for negation elimination.